Hey guys, what's up? So in the latest chapter of My Hero Academia 256, we see that it could be possibly tying into the latest anime episode, right? Now, this is going to be kind of spoiler-ish. So if you haven't read the manga at all, I would highly suggest that you read the manga or don't listen to this video because I'm going to go into a little bit of spoiler territory to explain myself. So we know that Lemillion loses his power and it, it's pretty much a permanent loss, right? He doesn't regain it or it doesn't fade away for a little bit and comes back. And we see here that Eren, she is feeling strange because her, something is wrong with her horn. Her horn is tingling and stuff. And as you notice here, it's a little bit longer than usual. So it's possible it could be... Um, it grows based on her power usage and whatnot, right? But is it possible that Lemillion could get his powers back? Because remember, she has the ability to reverse something back to its original state. So if she's able to reverse Lemillion to a point where he had his powers, that would be awesome because he saw how powerful and awesome he was prior to losing it, right? Now... A more important point, because this chapter had a lot of training montages and it shows that the high school students are getting stronger and they are able to use their quirks and powers more effectively and efficiently. We see that um, it's time for Midoriya to keep moving forward, right, onto the next step. Past successors, quirks. Note from, for Midoriya, fight, <laughs> right? You see the little book there. And it's interesting because when we look at All Might and stuff, we never really saw him utilizing anybody else's... Uh, well, he had the powers of all those guys, but we don't know if he was actually using specific powers that would have stood out, right? Versus how Midoriya is able to use these long tentacles, like spider-like, spider-web thingies, the black stuff, and all these other things, right? So it makes me wonder, like, how much does All Might know about the other successors of All for One? Oh, One for All, I should say. Right? Um, it's This series is, is getting interesting because we know the villains are getting stronger behind the scenes. And only one person, Hawks, he knows about it, but he's undercover, deep, deep undercover. And, you know, we see that these students here, they're getting stronger and everything. And look, Bakugo is here with Midoriya too. It's showing that the pair, they're really in sync because, you know, he knows Midoriya's secret. And it would be really cool to see how they both develop. Hopefully it's not like a Naruto Sasuke type of situation. I don't think it's going to be like that because it would be cheesy if they followed suit like that. And also they have a different dynamic. I can see them as being like brothers. And... Hopefully this doesn't happen, but one of my things I was talking to Roche about is like I foresee that like Bakugo or Midoriya himself, one of them is most likely going to die later on in the series because it would really bring a significance to the character development. Because when I see their relationship, this is going to sound kind of cheesy, right? But it kind of reminds me of... Um, this show, Tango Tapa Grand Lagoon, in the sense that, you know, he, he had, um, the main character had his, his, um, he used to call him Aniki, older brother, whatever, but, like, he had a role model he looked up to, but then the role model died, and, and from there, he had to become the, the main protagonist, and it was a huge growing pain, and I feel like, um, My Hero Academia is, is a, is pretty level in terms of, like, being light and dark, because bad things do happen. I'm not going to say, like, nothing bad ever happens, because people die, all this stuff. But as far as it goes for Madaria, he still has all his friends, everybody's fine, it's hunky-dory for the most part. I I think there's going to be some arc or chapter where something major happens and people die, or someone close to him dies. It has to be someone significant to allow him to go to the next level. I'm not trying to be morbid, and I love all the characters, but I just, um, um, the way how the story is going, I foresee one of the major three in this room here, I see one of them dying for saving the others. But, anyways, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, I thought this chapter was pretty interesting, but not a lot of information or anything happened, really. It was just like, 
not I'm not gonna say it's a filler, but it, it, it's pretty much a filler. Actually, yeah, it is a filler because the on, only the last two to three pages had any type of new developmental information, except for them letting you know, oh yeah, the gang everybody's improved again. Yeah, we get that, but that that could come later, but. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Comment below. And as always, take care. I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm about to go ahead and read some more chapters on some other series. So I can start talking about those two. Take care. Peace.